in 2014, a Korean man by the name of Jan Yin bought 2,500 acres of land in the Toledo district. Mr. Dan Blanco, a former lands officer, was interviewed by Will Mejia, BPP Toledo East representative. Mr. Blanco noted that he is representing the International Missionary Organization and confirmed that he was directly hired by and worked for Mr. John Yin. Apparently, the buyer, Mr. Yin, did not know that half of Trio Village sits on this land. Now, Mr. Yin wants these people to move or buy the parcel that they are occupying. Most of the residents have been living on these lands for more than 25 years and none of them have their land ownership papers. For the past 25 years, they have been told by the PUDP politicians not to worry. Go ahead, Bill, and these politicians promised that once they got into power, they would assist them with their land ownership documents. However, to date, those promises has gone unfulfilled. We are calling on all Belizeans to help us call on the government for a formal investigation into this possible disenfranchisement of our Mayan brothers and sisters. I now present the full interview done by Mr. Will Mejia. 20 años. Aquí. ¿Y qué hace aquí en Trail? Pues aquí lo que hago es cultivar siembros de cultura. Ok. ¿Y usted enseño? ¿Cuántos años vive aquí en Trail? ¿Ah? 30. ¿Ya? ¿Y qué hace aquí en Trail? Agricultura. ¿Y de qué clase de agricultura? De todo, cultivo. ¿eh? Ok. Todo cultivo. Yeah. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Son 30 y pico de años que uno tiene de estar acá. ¿A que criado su familia, la está estudiando y todo? Y... No, ¿cómo va a ser eso? Yo te voy a mandar. ¿Cuántos años vive aquí en Trail? 31. 31. Aquí, en este lugar. Aquí, en este lugar. ¿Usted? También. ¿Cuántos años? Yo 27, yo 27 tengo. ¿Y usted? Yo 31. 31 sí. años, ¿tu familia vive aquí? Sí, y aquí cuánto? nací, aquí nací en Belice, mi padre y yo nací en Belice. ¿Y usted cuántos años tiene? Yo tengo 22. ¿Y siempre vive aquí? Sí, y tengo hijos ya. Ajá. ¿Y usted cuántos años vive aquí? 30 años. Aquí en Trayo. En Trayo. Okay. ¿Y usted, mami? 30 años. 30 años. Ok. Alright, for the record, state your name. Mr. Dan Blanco. And who do you represent? Um, the International Missionary Organization. Okay, how long have they been in Belize? Um, with that, I, I can't tell you exactly how long. They just, um, I am representing, I'm their agent, and I am, um, I was just hired by them. Okay, so and they I, are from I, where? The the organization? Yes. Is from here in Belize. They are from here in Belize? The organization. Um, who is the uh, persons affiliated with this organization? The person Who's, Who do you work for exactly? Oh, Mr. John. Jan who? Jan Yim. Jan who? Yim. Yim. He's a Korean. Korean? Yes, sir. And he um, heads a missionary organization? That is correct. Right? You talk about doing an agricultural farm. Um, yes. What are they planning on growing? Okay, they are planning on growing uh, vegetables, um, all sorts of, uh, when it comes to vegetables. Okay. They, are, they will be um, developing the, the land. And they will be offering the, the people there jobs. How long have they owned the land? Um, June 2014. And who did they buy the land from? I uh, can't tell you because I don't have that information. You don't have that information. When they bought the land, did they know that this land was occupied by um, citizens uh, of Trium? I wouldn't be able to tell you that because personally, I haven't questioned that. You haven't questioned no, that? No. Um, so what's your... Many people out here say they've been living on the land for more than 20 years. Um, and is this the said land that the Korean company or the International Missionary Group now own? Yes, it's the 2,500 and um, I can give you the exact figure right here.
Basically, this land includes even the church, even the churches and the schools that is in this village. Am I no, correct? No, no, no. No. That is out of the property. The, actually, the village is out of the property. Okay. I have a map so, to show you that. How about the um, the land that the the one acre parcel that they are buying? Are they living on that? Yes, but the, the, that, this is not the village here. This is the village is more up up front. But people live on those people lands. People are squatting on this area right now. This area. This is, a, this is the private property of, of the missionary. This land that we are standing yes, on right yes, now sir. is the private property of the of the international international missionary organization. But these people have been living on this property for an average of twenty five years. I, Some of them say thirty years. I will be able to prove that they have to prove that. Uh, yeah. yeah. I won't be able to to, yeah. to speak on their behalf because I don't know. Yeah. Do you know? If the owners of the property had been here to visit the people and see the village, that the village is on their land? Yes. Uh, the, this, this is not the village again. This is not the village. This, the village is more on the... On the um, if you go forward, you will start. The village will start. Mm. But the, like I tell you, this is not the village. These are squatters these on are this... These are squatters in the land. Of yeah. the, of the but these people have been living here for more than 30 years. For example, the people living in this like house. I, tell you, I, I cannot answer that because I don't know. Uh -huh. okay. So um, you said that that you said while you were speaking there earlier that um, work should begin shortly. How soon is shortly? Well, first we are trying to, to make an agreement with the with the person that are squatting here, whether they will um, agree to purchase the said parcel of land, which is um, agreed to be sell to them one acre parcel, yeah. which will be surveyed, but they need to pay a down payment of twenty five percent. But you know that most of these people are poor people. They don't have 25%. What will happen when they can't pay? That's why we are, we are here to provide them with employment. Once we start the agriculture sector, we'll provide them and give them $40 a day. Out of that $40 a day, they will be um, deducted $40 a day to be paid to, towards the property. So will After that, the payment that, that, the... that will be part of the 25%? No, no, no. That will be the, so the where where will people. these people get this twenty five percent from? I can say, sir. And what if they can't come up with that twenty five percent? Well, that's why we are here kicked? to make arrangements. Yeah. We we are not here to to to, to cast mischief. We are here to work with the villagers. That's why we are. As a matter of fact, the missionary are planning to have their they will build their own village here, yeah. where they will have park, school, and they will provide them people um the students with um scholarship where needed. And you said this is a Korean missionary. The, 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 the guy that is representing is a Korean. Okay. And who are the missionaries? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> don't you just work for Mr. What's his name? John Mr. Yim. John Yim. And where is he at? He's in the US right now. He's in the US. Yes. Okay. Anything else you would like to say? No, just that um, we are trying to work with the people to have a peaceful resolution. Yeah. We know that they are, first of all, let me make it clear that they are squatting. Um, we are not trying to, to cast, like, to tell them, all right, we will just evict you. We are trying to work with them a contract so that they could own the piece of land. At the end of the day, when they finish here, they will have their own title yeah. so that they could probably mortgage it to the bank and do whatever they, they please to do with their property. Okay. Okay? All right. Uh -huh. 35 years well, you can interpret, yeah. How long you live here? 35 years of living here in uh -huh. uh, who may give him permission to go ahead with the farm? Oh, este, es por parte del gobierno. Uh -huh. Ajá, who will Sí, los partidos políticos no, no han dado permiso de hacer caso aquí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And um, how long? 35. 35 años. Yeah. Sí. And what he grew? Uh -huh. What he grew? Oh, este, naranja y árboles. ¿Cuántos acres de naranja? Tengo tres acres. Okay. Ah. ¿Y mango? También, este, y mi casa, ahí la tengo también, ahí está mi casa. Ok, perfecto. Ok, so, um, tell us your name. Claudia Hernández. Claudia, and uh, you are a student? Yes, sir. Where are you a student at? I am at Ecumenical General Okay, village. and you were born in this village? Yes. Okay, and um, many villagers here have their farms. Who gave them permission to farm on the land? Politicians. 
like who? I mean, in this era, was represented by Eden Martinez and Mike Espat. Yeah, Mike Espat, of course. And then? Eden Martinez. And they both said that you could farm on the land. Yeah. But now we ask um, Mike Espat for help, and he, all he do is he make fun of us. And he, because we ask where is he, because um, he's our area representative. He's supposed to help us, and we know her nothing of him. And he's supposed to be here with us. Okay. Este es un permiso que le dieron a él, a mi esposo, en el 2000. En el 2000 se lo dieron a él para que mida esos 30 acres. Ajá. Sin embargo, mi esposo tiene más de 30 años de estar trabajando ahí. Pero esta es la solicitud a los 30 acres, la solicitud de los 30 acres y la aprobación para que él mida. Hace, hace únicamente 16 años. Aunque mi esposo tiene más de 30 años de estar trabajando ahí. Entonces, si a él le dieron esta carta para medir, ¿por qué ahora el chino viene a decir que esas tierras son de él? Queremos la presencia del gobierno que nos ayude a arreglar este caso. Una cita con el, con el señor ministro de terrenos. ¿Y tú no hablas con el señor Mike o con el señor Martínez? Desde antes sí hemos hablado con Ajá. ellos. Han dicho que esas tierras son del gobierno. Okay.